I pray by a power that this world does not know. I fast by a power that humanity is not aware of. Apostle, I'm struggling with sickness. Go to that which is written. Open your Bible. Find out there were sick people in the Bible who were healed. What did they do? This world is not designed for spirits. It's a three-dimensional framework of existence. Three-dimensional entity. So in case a spirit has jurisdiction within this context, a man permitted that spirit to function. In fact, prayer is earthly permission for heavenly interference. Listen. The Bible tells us there were two thieves on the cross. Is that in your Bible? Jesus was in the middle of two thieves. I wish I had time. I would have taught you that the cross is where both good and bad people meet. <laughs> you will think because you are Jesus, the cross will not be there. The cross and the prison are two mysterious places. Because no matter who you are, you must pass through the prison or the cross. It is not, you don't have a choice to exempt it. You only have a choice to choose whether it's the cross or the prison. These are two mysterious places in life and destiny. They forrun every throne. The prison foruns the throne. And the cross foruns the throne. Joseph, you must pass through the prison to sit as prime minister. Jesus, not even you, will be spared of the cross. Can I tell you this? This is not my message, but I just thought to digress for one minute because some of you are right now, you are in states where you do not even know, Lord, how come the righteous and the unrighteous are in the same condition? Remember the prison and remember the cross. Jesus was hanging on that cross and there were two thieves by his side. And one was open and he began to shout at Jesus in his pride even while on the cross. These were thieves so they both stole and the other one was shouting at Jesus, you can't even save us. And then the other one demonstrated brokenness. He said, Mr. Man, this is an innocent man in between us. Paraphrasing. We are victims of our wrongs. And Jesus looked at him. Even on the cross, he did not ignore brokenness. He says, today, you will be with me. It is a both of you. Today, because there is brokenness, you will be with me in paradise. Hallelujah. When I learned the mercy of God perpetually, this is not self-condemnation. But let me tell you the truth. Every time I go to God in prayer, I go to him and I say, Father, there are so many people who depend on this grace and you know, if I am left to myself, I cannot even help myself, talk less helping other people. I ask that by your mercy and by your grace, you will help this man who is so limited and inadequate. That is the kind of prayer God wants to hear. And he will come to you and pick you on the wings of eagles and your life will command results and dimensions of possibilities that will dumbfound you and everybody around you but when they add you up you don't equal that answer because the mercy of god is the mystery behind your results please listen to me this is a very powerful message the mercy of god i have seen the mercy of god in my life i have seen the mercy of god in ministry when people come and ask me what is the secret, I can only tell them the best that I know. But then leave them with the fact that everything I told you is not the whole answer. There is a part of this answer I don't have the power to give. I will have to direct you like an usher to the one who can show men mercy. I have seen families where the man and the woman are well-cultured, disciplined parents. And all four children became hooligans. All four of them. Have you seen that happen? Respectfully speaking. Lawless children. You can't say the children were not trained. They fasted with the parents. They did night vigils. And the children still became what they became. And yet I have seen children where the child can leave home for two weeks and return back the third week. The mother can see the child five times in a year and the child is in that city. And one day, the child will be moving somewhere and enter into one conference and the power of God will hit that child. 
the next time the child returns he's a well cultured stable young man on fire and the mother and the parents have no hand in the transformation of that child someone shout mercy I have seen diligent people trusting God to raise money and build and doing their best and the moment they are building they have a problem with maybe some government and they can come and demolish that building and I've seen people who in their innocence someone would just say I like you and I want to help you look let me tell you this you never downplay the power of God's mercy hallelujah even in my own life sincerely and respectfully speaking i will tell you there are times maybe because of my schedules and sometimes i'm not able to see people and minister to them as i would want to and then in the midst of all that crowd you see people who fly in all over the world and they are standing doing their best and i can turn somewhere and you can see a little boy and the mother somewhere someone just held them and say i can help you see apostle and they are standing there and i'm saying my god look at the mercy of god the ability to pardon an offender and the ability to add up for the inadequacies of the other everyone seated here and you who uh, is following from television or across the globe we are all in need of God's mercy